and welcome back to my channel. It is Dr. AKA EDU underscore curls here. Yes, there is a name change, y'all. I graduate in exactly like three months. Um, I am like done done in like a month and a half-ish. I'm literally just putting my final edits on my dissertation to submit for graduation and I'm ready. We've arrived, so we changed our name because we already had to pay for graduation, so whatever. Um, all right, so let's get into today. If you're new here, welcome. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Today we're actually gonna talk about, and I'm gonna walk through my wash and go. Um, so I'll kind of give us a preface of what's already done in my hair. Um, I shampooed today using the Camille Rose Sweet Ginger Cleansing Rinse. And then I went in with my deep conditioner, which I used the Camille Rose Algae Renew. Y'all know I'm a Camille Rose girly through and through. Um, and so I used that and then I steamed my hair, which is always like when I use the Algae Renew and I use heat, it just works so well for my hair. So my hair is in like the perfect moisture um, balance for sure right now. Um, currently, I have already sectioned my hair and added the leave-in. So you will not see me use leave-in in this clip. Um, because I've already gone in and used my Camille Rose Curl Love Moisture Milk. If I have some dry patches, I may actually like add a little bit of this to that section, but I've done all the preparation with the Curl Love already. So we're going to talk a little bit about, now that my hair is actually super long, so I'll show you. Um, my armpit is here. My hair is like past armpit length at this point. Um... Yeah, so uh, because of that, I've had to kind of change up my routine because the length of my hair is like just requiring a little bit more like time um, to really make sure that my wash and go is good. So that's what I'm going to show you guys today. So today we're actually really going to focus on technique because technique is what like really matters here at this point. Um, my routine is the same, like I'm using the same products, those types of things. It's the technique and the specificity of like defining my hair in specific pieces that I want to talk a little bit about and show you on camera today. So like I said, I have my hair sectioned in four. I've already applied my leave-in conditioner. Um, I have a spray bottle handy and I'm going to actually fill it up with a little bit more warm water um, just to make sure that my cuticle is open when I am um, spraying my hair which will allow the product to penetrate better. Um, I am gonna use my Camille Rose Curl Maker. Also, if y'all see me like dip off over here, it's because my sink is right here and my camp, my uh, mirror is right here. So I need to be able to see my hair. But um, we're gonna start with just spraying the section down. So I'm going to spray this section down just to make sure that it's pretty saturated. Um, it's still, my hair is still really wet. Cause like I said, I literally just got out the shower. Um, so it should be pretty wet. I don't actually want dripping wet hair. I have found that the curl maker doesn't take well when my hair is dripping, um, in that way. There have been products I've used in the past where dripping is, is necessary, like kinky curly. Um, but this isn't one of them. So, um, it's wet and that's what my hair needs. Um, so I'm going to go in with my curl maker and I have switched the top because I am at the point of the bottle where the pump no longer works. So I switched the top out, but I used not a ton, um, but enough to coat the section. So this is the part that's really important. I have been really coating and smoothing each section um, and really taking my time in doing that. I find that my Saturday wash and go actually can go like five days if I have, you know, really taken my time and done this really slowly. I'm not even going to flex on you. Um, and so, yeah, that's really what I do. And then I try to really just make sure my hair is smoothed out and good to go. Then I take my next section and I do the exact same thing. I am doing smaller sections than I would normally um, or I have in the past. And that's really just to make sure that my hair is saturated with product and that my hair is smoothed appropriately given that section. So again, add the gel, really smooth. I actually finger comb and smooth at the same time. 
that's like very important to my hair in particular. Um, and then I definitely have sections of my hair that are typically puffier. So I try to really smooth and then I take that whole section, everything I've done thus far again, and I smooth over. Okay, so that is really just the back section of my hair. I have a lot more to this section. I'll show you this one section and then I will speed up the clip um, while I do my whole head and then I'll come back to you guys. All right, so this is another section. Again, I'm gonna show you real close, smooth, finger comb and smooth, smooth, and really just focus on the smoothing um, and making sure my hair is fully, fully saturated. That is so important for my hair to come out well. All right, again, product, about that much gel. And I do use a little bit more gel in my hair with Camille Rose. Really that's because I found Camille Rose is actually really moisturizing for my hair. The, some, the, the base of the curl maker, which is agave and flax. I think it's flaxseed gel. Is it flaxseed? Let's see. Maybe it would be marshmallow root. Marshmallow and agave leaf extract, but that base, that snotty, you know, uh, texture gel are, is one of my favorites, but the base of this is really moisturizing, so it works really, really well. Oop, section fell. And make sure that last one is really smoothed. And I try to really go root to tip to make sure that the sections are really smoothed out. Just make sure I have really defined curls. That matters a lot to my hair. All right, then whole section smooth. And then next section. All right, and as I start to get to the center of my head, you'll see there's a little bit more frizz on the top of my hair. Um, I find that the parts, my part in particular, collects a little bit more frizz also because it's the part that's most exposed to the elements. Um, so I do have to do a little bit of a different smoothing there, and I'll show you that when I get to the top of my section. All right, so I'm taking, like I said, very small sections, working it through again. And part of why I finger comb this way is what you guys just saw, which is that like small snag I almost got stuck on. But because it's with my fingers, I can feel it. And so I'm able to like smooth it out better. Then when I'm not, when I don't have small sections. Okay. So that's that, worked in, good to go. Last, very last section. Of this section, because mm -hmm. I have a lot of sections to do. All right, and I really try to make sure I'm going from root to tip. This is where I get more of my tangles and it's the back of my head. So I do really try to um, make sure it's really smoothed. What I find with the back of my head and my curls too, is those actually not easier. And so I've really had to make sure that the back has smaller sections for that reason alone. Like the knotting is so much easier. Also because of the way that I sleep. Um, when I sleep at night, I pull it into a pineapple. Normally that part is like pulled up but I still find that like the friction of sleeping on it will make those curls frizzier, which will make them like not in themselves. Okay, so that is section one. Okay, very defined, very luscious and juicy as you can see on camera. I'm gonna do the rest of my head and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, so obviously I'm not moving this fast, but you'll see kind of the sped up clip of what you just watched me do in slow-mo. So I'm still going section by section, 
really smoothing the hair through and making sure that my hair is really saturated with ample amounts of product to make sure that when I go to like really smooth the curls that they're given that recoil. And so the product and the saturation is a large part of that, which is why I was saying like this video is more gonna focus on technique because I've really gotten down going those smaller section by smaller section to make sure that the definition is really popping in my hair. Um, in a second, you'll see me actually reapply water and I'll do one final smoothing with like a praying hands motion over both sides of my head. That's really just to smooth everything else out and add a little bit more gel back into my hair. Um, you'll also see in a second that my finger starts to get caught and I've noticed that when my nails have like a hangnail or shaved piece, it gets stuck on my hair. So you'll see me shave it really quickly and then finalize my hair out. All right, y'all, I'm back. So this is my hair, completely styled in the wash and go all product applied and done so that's it that's my like you know the overview of my hair it's process my technique um i think this has just been the best technique for me to really go those small small sections by section because it's really given me the definition that i've been looking for in my hair so um, yeah, that's really it. So thanks so much for tuning in. Like, comment, subscribe, share with friends. And if you want to see more videos about how I style my hair, please leave a comment um, below. And as always, have a great and blessed rest of your day. Bye, guys.